I'm Sky John. This is definitely not gourmet. And today we're making rainbow pasta. Okay, guys. So we got our pasta, right? By the way, did you notice know hole in this little thingy thing? Measures like one serpent. I need more than that. Okay. Probably for a very small person. <laughs> okay. Whoever, whoever that is, that dude don't eat much. All right. So let's drop in some pasta. Why look awkward in the kitchen? Just roll with it. <laughs> okay. So now we gotta get our rainbow ready. So I can just put a little smidgen of water in each one of these. Beautiful. Now we come behind and we squirt. Beautiful. Now I can give this a little stir in. Okay, now I gotta strain this because I had my pasta boiling now for about seven minutes. I can just do this over the sink, one-handed. Ah! <laughs> it wasn't water that burnt, it was the steam, which is kind of heated water. It was the water that burnt. <laughs> so I got to divide this into five bites, equal parts. Woo. Now I come behind this with red. Come on, let's sit for the next one. Dude, who wants purple pasta though? I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, that's something that I never wow, you know, it'd really be cool if my pasta is purple. Be gentle with it, okay? You don't want to break it. Don't be too rough. Sometimes they get too rough in pasta. Now you don't want all that excess water that's in here. So we can drain that off. Beautiful. And then we can put a nice little mound right there. Look at that. Perfecto. Look at that, guys. Now, guys, you need some butter on this, okay? So we got melted butter. But I can just strain all over this. Got some salt and pepper. Not too much salt, you know what I mean? Then come behind that with a little black pepper. And now we can hit this with a little bit of Parmesan. Salt bay! Okay, I want to mix this together, okay? So I can use two forks to like, kind of get it going. So you get a nice rainbow look. Mm -hmm. And there you have it! Rainbow pasta, okay? I watched Tony Soprano do this one time, but he used a spoon with his fork. This is like an Italian way. This was neat. Wow, that's a big one. I don't want to pair greedy though. This is small dip. We got giant marshmallows. Just make sure they're fresh. Fresh. Okay. Now, got some chocolate chips here. Semi sweet. Okay. Don't want too much sugar in your diet. Okay. <laughs> so we just sprinkle these over the bottom of our pan. Oh, this is melting. Look at it. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's right. Your boy is a chef. Okay? Not school certified. I learned on the streets, okay? Or down them hard streets, okay? You ever cook on the streets, homeboy? It's dangerous. Okay! They don't eat s'mores on the street. My hood was a s'mores hood. Okay! <laughs> so now we get our marshmallows. And now we make these beautiful little circles, okay? Bring out your art, you know, bring out your creativity, guys. You know? Now many of you are going, well, is that it? Woohoo! So now we have heat coming two ways, okay? So I'm roasting from the top, and these are being cooked from the bottom. Just to speed things up, guys, I can just put this in the oven real quick, okay? If you don't have an oven, you could use this. Unfortunately, we have an oven, so I'm being told to stop flaming them up. <laughs> <laughs> Let that sit in there. Oh, we should be good. So we had this on broil, okay? It's starting to burn, so let me just snatch this up. Okay, beautiful. And there you have it, the s'mores dip. Check this out, okay? Get a little cookie. Ooh, ooh wee. 
And you just pass this around the party. Just hit the spot just now. This is a fun dish. Obviously, you wouldn't want to eat all of this by yourself, okay? Unless you're on a mission to, I, I don't know, okay? Mission to hell with no return. I don't know, okay? <laughs> but, hmm. Definitely get your friends involved. And don't double dip. I'm double dipping because it's just me here. And a few friends. I paid for this so they can have to deal with the little saliva on it. But hey, you know, we all won. From the same place, okay? I do biology or oh, that's anthropology. I don't know. <laughs> I did one of them. We all we all we all won. Okay. This is good. Mm. Oh lord. I don't need dinner tonight because I, sh I should this should be good. This should last me until. See, that's the thing with this. I don't need to eat it here until like seven days from now. Okay? <laughs> <coughs> Later. I'm Sky John. This is definitely not gourmet. And today we're making spaghetti ice cream. Watch this. So you start off with a little dollop of whipped cream over. Now you grab your ice cream. This thing here is a potato ricer. But we're not gonna use it for potatoes. We can use it for ice cream. Get in there, homeboy. Okay, now watch this. So what this can do is we can get nice spaghetti. Oh, look at the spaghetti. Look at the spaghetti. It's vanilla spaghetti, okay? Y'all even have this in Italy? I don't think so. All right, now look at that. Now look at that. Tell me that don't look like spaghetti. Just guide me on this last squeeze. Just give me the amen. 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 All right. We need some tomato sauce. Our tomato is actually strawberry jam. Just like our spaghetti. Well, yeah, strawberry jam, strawberry topping, whatever, okay? Strawberry. You see? Okay. Pour it. Well, that's enough. You trying to kill the people? But guys, we need some parmesan. Was it parmesan? Parmesan. Okay. We need some parmo. If you're Italian, please have some pronunciation. Okay. Now watch this. <laughs> and there you have it. Spaghetti ice cream, homeboy. So you eat this just the same way you eat pasta, you'd roll the knife? <laughs> oh, well, roll the fork and then... Mm. That was just pasta. Let me get some of the Parmesan cheese with a little bit of the tomato sauce. Mm. I'm one of those people who make noises as I eat if you watch the show, so you will hear a lot of... Okay? <laughs> Just know those sounds mean enjoyment. Now if you hear, ah, okay, that's, that's probably just need water to wash it down. Probably dry. Mm. Dude, it's freaking good, okay? I'm impressed, you know? Guys, you know, say hey, baby, I'm gonna do something special for you tonight. We can have some pasta, okay? For all the wine, this right here, she'll love you, okay? That way, you can play Fortnite in peace. You know what I mean? Because I wish I had some food to make so I could play Fortnite in <laughs> peace. Okay? Because I'm on my squad mission behind enemy lines, about to win the game, then someone jumps in, why are you playing Fortnite? Whatever. Alright? <laughs> Definitely log on, man. Enjoy your food. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sky John from Definitely Not Gourmet, and this dish is called Toasty Locos. It's a street food from Mexico. It's super, super cool, okay? So you grab a bag, salsa verde, and you just will cut down the side, because it's made in the bag. Mm -hmm. Look at that, okay? Just checking freshness. Oh, this is good. We have to add in some stuff. So first you want, and get in there, some diced cucumbers, okay? So get our cucumber in here. Now this here is jicama. It's a 
Mexican turnip. Okay, and this one's hard as hell. These are Japanese peanuts. Okay. Now we grab some chamoy. On cooking days, we don't. I don't buy lunch, you know, because my lunch is made here. But you can get some lime in here too. Now we can come behind now with some tahini. Oh yeah, get that tahini in there, nice and neat. And then follow that up with some Valentino hot sauce, okay? Look at that bad boy, man. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Put a little fork in. And guys, you can also throw in some lime slices. And there you have it! Toasty Locos! Okay? This is... That's really delicious. Mexico, you know, gave us so much, you know? I can't live without burritos. You know what I mean? And chimichangas. Okay, and quesadillas. You know what I mean? And my little floaters. What, what are they? Floaters? Flanners? I don't know. Okay, something. It's at the van outside and it's delicious. Can't smell it right now. One of the coolest foods, man. Anyway, guys, so definitely go home. Give this a try, okay? And if you can't find, if you can't find like salsa verde, use regular tostitos or any tortilla chips. You know, just play with it. Or go to your local Mexican, uh, your, uh, your Mexican supermarket where they have a lot of foods from Mexico that you could actually buy and go home and give it a try. Because this one is, this one's really a lot of fun and it's delicious. Mmm, buenos dias, los vivos. Guys, this is the Elvis sandwich, okay? Elvis Presley actually used to eat this or a version thereof, you know. Because over time, you know, recipes change. People die, tell different stories about the king. Man, there's some thick bacon. Woo -hoo -hoo! Now, this has banana in it. That's right, the man had banana and bacon together. The king. Okay, they're crazy. Okay, who knows though, this might taste good. Just smashing my banana. I could use a muddler, but this is this is even easier. Guys, as that's going, I'm toasting bread, okay? You need two slices, I put in four. Just so you know, I'm using my oven to toast because that's how I am. I'm a perfectionist, okay? If you have a toaster, yeah, you could cheat and use that. Take out my bacon. Woo! Drain in the fat. Now guys, let me grab my, my toast. Woo! My toasted bread. So first things first, I can start off with some peanut butter, okay? And this is the creamy style peanut butter we're using, but you can free to use chunky. Not a moment you've all been waiting for. I come behind with my bacon, sorry, my, my um, banana. Make sure you spread that out nice and neat. You're falling it up with my little bacon, you see? Perfect. Flip this like this. We can grill this. So what we have here is now some butter. Get the next up. Nice little grilling going on. Oh! Hmm. It's hot, so be careful. <laughs> Just see if this is done. Oh yeah, perfect. So get my knife. And give that a nice cut. And there you have it! The Elvis sandwich! Now what the hell does this taste like? I'm assuming if you're an Elvis Presley fan, you're already familiar with this, right? But, you know, I know his music. I didn't know he used to eat stuff like this, okay? It was a little thickish. He had a, it was a little thickums back in the day. You know, so now I know why. Okay, this one got a lot of bacon on it. Let me try this one. Mm. 
it ain't bad, but it's freaking weird. <laughs> it's not normal. It's a reason why you don't go to the store and see this on the menu. It's unique, okay? It is definitely unique. I suggest you try it, okay? And as always, you know, consult your physician before you try our meals. Later! <laughs> Hi, I'm Sky John from Definitely Not Gourmet, and this dish is called Toasty Locos. It's a street food from Mexico. It's super, super cool. Okay? So you grab a bag, salsa verde, and you just will cut down the side because it's made in the bag. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Okay, just checking freshness. Oh, this is good. We have to add in some stuff. So first you want and get in there some diced cucumbers, okay? So get our cucumber in here. Now this here is jicama. It's a Mexican turnip, okay? And this one's hard as hell. These are Japanese peanuts. Okay. Now we grab some chamoy. On cooking days, we don't. I don't buy lunch, you know, because my lunch is made here. Do you want to get some lime in here too? Now we can come behind that with some tahini. Oh yeah, get that tahini in there, nice and neat. And then follow that up with some Valentino hot sauce, okay? Look at that bad boy, man. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo. You put a little fork in. And guys, you can also throw in some lime slices. And there you have it! Toasty Locos, okay? This is, this is really delicious. Mexico, you know, gave us so much, you know? I can't live without burritos, you know what I mean? And chimichangas, okay, and quesadillas, you know what I mean? And my little flotas, what, what are they, flotas, flanas? I don't know, okay, something. It's at the van outside and it's delicious. Can't smell it right now. One of the coolest foods, man. Anyway, guys, so definitely go home, give this a try, okay? And if you can't find, if you can't find like salsa verde, use regular tostitos or any tortilla chips. You know, just play with it. Or go to your local Mexican, uh, your, uh, your Mexican supermarket where they have a lot of foods from Mexico that you could actually buy. Go home and give it a try because this one is this one's really a lot of fun and it's delicious. Mmm, buenos días, los vemos. I'm Sky John, this is Definitely Not Gourmet, and today we're making rainbow pasta! Okay guys, so we got our pasta, right? By the way, did you notice know hole in this little thingy thing? Measures like one serving? I need more than that, okay? Probably for a very small person. <laughs> okay, whoever, whoever that is, that dude don't eat much. Alright, so let's drop in some pasta. Why look awkward in the kitchen? Just roll with it. <laughs> okay. So now we gotta get our rainbow ready. So I can just put a little smidgen of water in each one of these. Beautiful. Now we come behind and we squirt. Beautiful. Now I can give this a little stir in. Okay, now I gotta strain this because I had my pasta boiling now for about seven minutes. I can just do this over the sink, one-handed. Ah! <laughs> it wasn't water that burnt, it was the steam, which is kind of heated water. It was the water that burnt. <laughs> so I gotta divide this into five bites, equal parts. Ooh. Now I come behind this with red. Come on, let's sit, I'll do the next one. Dude, who wants purple pasta though? I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, that's something that I never wow, you know, it'd really be cool if my pasta is purple. 
Be gentle with it, okay? You don't want to break it. Don't be too rough. Sometimes they get too rough in pasta. Now, you don't want all that excess water that's in here. So we can drain that off. Beautiful. And then we can put a nice little mound right there. Look at that. Perfecto. Look at that, guys. Now, guys, you need some butter on this, okay? So we got melted butter. But I can just strain all over this. Got some salt and pepper. Not too much salt, you know what I mean? Then come behind them with a little black pepper. And now we can hit this with a little bit of Parmesan. Salt bay! Okay, I want to mix this together, okay? So I can use two forks to like, kind of get it going. So you get a nice rainbow look. Mm -hmm. And there you have it! Rainbow pasta, okay? I watched Tony Soprano do this one time, but he used a spoon with his fork. This is like an Italian way. This was neat. Wow, that's a big one. I don't want to pair greedy though. 